morning, afternoon, evening, as the case may be in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zon Archer. i got a little story to tell you tonight. Something a little a little different. Um, uh, something in, in light of the holiday season. The uh, Halloween holiday season. Now, before I go into the story, I have to tell you that I don't believe in the hereafter, heaven, hell, all that kind of stuff. It's just not a belief system that I hold. Um, I believe that when someone passes away, it's over. It, it's done with. There, there's no, no lingering on. However, what happened to me tonight has to be told. So this is a real life, honest to goodness, Halloween story, if you will, supernatural story, paranormal story, um, that didn't just happen to a friend of a friend of a friend of mine, but actually happened to me. Many of you may not know, but my mother passed away um, earlier this week. And on Wednesday, we had a, a very brief, for about an hour, we had a viewing. And I went and, and, and paid my respects and said goodbye to mom. However, uh, mom's being cremated, and uh, there was an opportunity for one of the family members to be there um, when the cremation took place. So... I had done that when my father passed away, and I felt that it was only right that I also do it when my mother passed away. So the arrangement was made for me to meet with the uh, funeral director and um, and go for my mother's cremation at 3 o'clock p.m. tonight. Now, I had been up all night long last night and uh, set my alarm on my telephone for 1.30 so that uh, at, by, by 3 o'clock p.m. I could be there for the cremation ceremony proceedings, whatever you'd like to call it. And they actually held it until 3 o'clock for me. Uh, they would have done it much earlier. So I went to bed and I went to sleep. I slept most of the day. And uh, at 1.30, my alarm on my phone did not go off. And so I continued to sleep. And 20 minutes after I was supposed to be at the crematory, um, at the funeral home, I had a phone call that woke me up. And I didn't recognize the number. It took me a couple minutes to get to the phone. And by the time I got there, it was, uh, they had gone. So I figured, well, I checked the voicemail and see who it was. Now, I don't know how you guys do it, but I often save my voicemail messages, and then I go through them later and delete them. So I called the voicemail number, and there were a number of messages there. Most of them saved, and there was one new one. I don't have the option of just listening to the new one. I actually have to listen to all the ones before it. And so I started listening. And the first message that was saved on my phone that hadn't been automatically deleted yet said, Zen, this is your mother. Where are you? I wasn't where I was supposed to be at the uh, funeral home for her cremation. Now, of course, that's a saved message from a long time ago. But imagine the shock hearing my mother's voice asking me where I was. Now, as I said, I believe, you know, it's just a coincidence. It's not anything more than that. I don't put any more weight into it than that. But for those of you that do, a spooky coincidence indeed. By the way, I eventually found out that the phone call was from the funeral home, who was pretty much asking the same question. Until next time, as always, you be well. Have a happy Halloween.